Okay, so I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to talk about more notice, but of course, chapter 53 has more notice that you have to do. Um, 53.055 um, makes you send a notice of filed affidavit after the lien has been filed. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a copy of the recorded lien, I think is the big thing to, to remember here. But if you've sent the lien for filing, you need to uh, send a copy uh, to the owner and uh, letting them know that this lien has been filed in the property records. And it has to go by the fifth date after the day the affidavit was filed with the county clerk. So remember to keep that in mind, uh, not forget to do it. Um, one thing that we do here in our office, for instance, is we make sure to send this letter out at the same time that we go file the lien with the clerk. You can do that. It doesn't have to be, like I said, you don't have to send them a copy of the recorded lien. So it just has to be a copy of the lien. You can see that the statute doesn't say anything about it needing to be a recorded lien. Okay, I'm gonna touch on contractual retainage just a little bit as it pertains to notice. Um, so, you know, some of these uh, contracts, um, they will have contractual retainage, meaning that the owner has to uh, retain a certain amount of funds, um, you know, in case, you know, things are not, don't get paid. You know, there's at least this fund. Um, and there are separate notices that need to actually be sent in order to uh, be able to get to this retainage. Um, I think that um, what a lot of people, a lot of people don't really um, understand that with contractual retainage and with statutory retainage, it's almost like a lien on a whole separate thing. You've got your lien on the property, right, that we just talked about. And now what we have to basically do is go and make sure that we have a proper lien on this retainage, this cash that they're holding. Um, and so for contractual retainage, you'll see that you have to, uh, um, you have to provide notice um, to the owner and the general contractor, and it must be sent no later than the earlier of the 30th date after the date the claimant's agreement is completed, terminated, or abandoned, okay? Or the 30th day after the original contract is terminated or abandoned, okay? So this can get very tricky. I, I, um, I don't wanna go into it too much, but you have to really think about the fact that this is this notice is sort of based upon when the project is complete, um, it, but but I think it needs to. There, there's a lot of discrepancy here in the courts and the cases about this. But just remembering that you do need to send this notice for contractual retainage is important. It is a whole separate thing. Um, same thing for statutory retainage, which um, for every project, um, if there is no contractual retainage, then there is a statutory requirement to withhold 10% of the contract price. Um, the owner has to do that, um, and they have to hold it for 30 days after the completion of the project, okay? And um, there's also notice requirements for that. So you have to send all notices that are required by Chapter 53, like according to your, you know, your place in the chain and whether it's commercial or residential, and you have to file an affidavit claiming a, a lien not later than the 30th day after the earliest of the date the work is completed, the original contract is terminated, or the original contractor abandons performance under the original contract. So like I said, this date is actually going to, in a lot of cases, move up your file, your, your lien filing deadline um, earlier than it would be for you know, the 15th day of the fourth month. And this is really where a lot of people kind of get caught. Um, you're gonna still have a good lien on the property, but if it's not filed by this 30th date, because maybe you did your work really late in the project and your, you know, your, your lien can still be filed, you know, the 15th day of the fourth month, you're not going to be able to have access to this retainage amount. And I was just involved in a case that way that that is exactly the way the court decided it. Um, I, I wanted to, we were trying to come up with some different arguments for how to get out of that, but it did not work. And, and that was in a bankruptcy 